Hello and welcome to the Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys. It is Champions League time and let me tell you this, Real Madrid are not only out of the Champions League, but tonight Ajax have destroyed them. They have absolutely obliterated Real Madrid at our own training ground, the Santiago Bernabeu. It's Ajax 4, I repeat Ajax 4, Real Madrid 1. It was an obliteration, a brilliant performance, an incredible showing, a brilliant football. There is lots to discuss and we're going to do it right here. Let's do this! And a lot of Real Madrid fans will probably make their way to this video. And first of all, guys, commiserations to you for getting knocked out of the Champions League. But remember, I'm not just doing this video because Real Madrid got knocked out. I did exactly the same in the first leg. I did a review of that game because I was so impressed with what I was seeing from Ajax. Not only the way they were playing, but also with that freedom, with that bravery, with that expression in their play. And tonight, we saw that times 100 at the Santiago Bernabeu to go there against a team like Real Madrid, who let's give them credit. Real Madrid in this competition, maybe not in the league, but in this competition, they have been near unbeatable now for three years because teams simply roll over for them. They accept, really, when you come up against Real Madrid, there's a good chance you're going to lose the game. That's the mentality that teams have going into it. But Ajax tonight had none of that. Not for a single second here did they believe they were going to get knocked out. Yes, they were 2-1 down. Yes, they had that goal robbed from them in their own stadium in that first leg. But still, they came here here with the attitude to continue really what we started. Last week of course we put Real Madrid to the sword in their own stadium on two different occasions and I think Ajax watched that and thought you know what if Barcelona can do that to Real Madrid in their own stadium you think of the lack of confidence right now that Real Madrid have they believed and that's all it takes a bit of bravery a bit of courage and of course they have right here special special players and it's not just De Jong it's not just De Ligt they have got a team here and certainly a coach who believes in their ideas, who can carry out their ideas. And tonight, they made the whole of Amsterdam extremely proud of them. And I think in the process here, a much wider field. Because even as the neutral, even if you didn't want Real Madrid to lose tonight, you've got to accept that in the first leg and now in the second, I actually have demonstrated that a lot of togetherness, a bit of unity, a team spirit, a belief, an idea, a philosophy, that can be transformed and translated into a victory at the top of European football. For Ajax there tonight to go there play the way they did, dominate the game over the two legs. That is special. What they did tonight was extraordinary. And of course, they scored four incredible goals. But at the same time, guys, it is their entire team that deserve an enormous amount of credit. Because what you're seeing there is 11 players who are fully behind what their coach is trying to do and are fully behind each other when they're out there on the pitch. Never did one of those players let the other one down. They were all in it together. It was a fantastic team display. And right from the back, Onana made some key saves on the night. You look at the fullbacks, Tagliafico and Masrari. Two excellent fullbacks, I believe. Not only going forward, they gave themselves a lot of options tonight. They were getting up and down. Certainly, they weren't afraid. They were brave going forward, but also defensively. Later on in the game, when the likes of Bale came on, Asensio, they had Benzema of course up front. They were under pressure, but they stood firm. They're very good defensively and that, of course, is the same for Blind here and Delict. Two players there who are very good defensively, but they're also that first step in making your way out of defence, playing the ball there, having it here and they just play it into Frankie de Jong all game long he was coming here he was brave he was accepting the ball in these kind of situations and I am so excited to see him in a Barcelona team because of that bravery because of his ability to get on the ball and really affect the game that's what we saw tonight in the first leg he showed flashes of that brilliance of that quality but tonight we saw consistently what Frankie de Jong can do he is absolutely brilliant with the ball at his feet getting through Real Madrid cutting through them and especially when you consider tonight he was up against a midfield of Luka Modric who according to FIFA and UEFA is the best player in the world where that best player in the world was tonight I don't really know but Modric the best player in the world Tony Kroos Casemiro that kind of midfield there can be daunting but Frankie de Jong he tiptoed through it tonight he slalomed through that midfield he was brilliant in getting the ball here and breaking the lines because once he did that there was players ahead of him who could really affect the game you had Van der Beek here who was box to box he was up and down so so much energy, so much desire, and he really set the tone there, I feel, for Ajax's attack, because he was consistently making runs in here, dragging the midfield, dragging the centre-backs, and just trying to create some space, create some passing angles, and he did that time and time and time again. Ruthless efficiency, fantastic attitude, brilliant energy, and you look at Neres here, the brilliance that he had from this left-hand side, Danny Carvajal will be having nightmares about that man 
Neres. No doubt about it. Phenomenal pace. He got into the final third time and time again. And he's not like Vinicius, because Vinicius at the moment, he gets into the final third, he's a major threat, but once he gets there, there's no end product. There's nothing at the end of it to really make a showing. But Neres, there was tonight. You saw that with his goal. It was brilliantly taken. It was a diagonal run in behind. Brilliant finish. So calm, so composed. That was a really key goal, of course, on the night. Then the other side, you've got Ziyech over here. Somebody there who's a different kind of player. It's not all about pace. It's about elegance. It's about carrying the ball. It's about having that ability when you're on it to see the picture ahead of you. And that's what he did tonight. And his runs here, he was coming in central. He was linking up with Tadic. You saw it for the first goal here. Ziyech making that run in, into the box. And it's a brilliant finish. So calm again. That's what we saw tonight from Ajax. That sense of calmness. That sense of believing that they were going to do it. That they were absolutely sure and fully believing in what they were trying to do. And of course, we have to talk about Dusan Tadic, who I watched a lot when he was playing at Southampton. And there's no doubt about it. He's got some quality about him. He's got certain characteristics that are very, very good, particularly in a team like this, for him to come alive. But tonight, he had the game of his life. He was playing here in a central striking position, which isn't really his natural role. But what he did tonight was absolutely everything. He played as a striker. He was happy to hold the ball off. He was happy then to hold it up and then play it left or right. He was quite happy to do that. He was also happy to run in behind. He was also happy to drop in here and make the extra man in midfield. He did everything. His touch on the ball was magnificent. You've only got to look at the way there that he actually built up that Neres goal in the midfield area here, breaking from deep, really causing rounded problems. A little roulette turn there and he's in. And it was wonderful to watch the night from Tadic. And the goal that he scored, what a sensational finish. He gets it close to the edge of the box on that left foot. There's still so much that he has to do, but he absolutely drills it. Top corner, no chance for Courtois. It's a sledgehammer of a shot that really did knock the life out of Real Madrid. But I have to say, not for one second tonight did you feel like Ajax were in any doubt. Because even when Asensio got that goal back, there was 20 minutes to go. And at that stage, Real Madrid needed two more goals. And that's what I mean. A lot of teams at that stage have come to that point against Real Madrid. With 20 minutes to go, they could win the match. But in this competition, they haven't followed through. Tonight, Ajax were never in any doubt. They never, ever stopped believing that they were going to get this win. And even when Real Madrid got one back, there was no sense of panic. There was no sense of rushing around. They were very calm in what they were doing. And then, of course, they went and got another goal. That was the kind of spirit of Ajax. It was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant from Lasse Schoener, who has the free kick out on the left-hand side. Courtois just takes a step or two off his line. A bit foolish, a bit silly there to do that. Schoener sees that. What a finish over Courtois into the top corner. What a free kick. And that was the goal there that sealed it. Four goals for Ajax tonight. Real Madrid completely taken apart. And I have to say... What a well-deserved victory. And my final thought tonight would go out to Sergio Ramos. Of course, the Real Madrid captain and the man who's described on many occasions as the best centre-back in the world. And he's also described as a phenomenal leader for this Real Madrid team. And yes, over the years, he has stepped up in some very big moments. But where was he tonight? He was sitting in the stands. Because if you remember in the first leg, of course, he believed this game was done. It was won. Real Madrid are through in Sergio Ramos's mind. Because when they scored the second goal, when it was 2-1 in Amsterdam, Ramos thought, right, I'm the hard man. I can get my book in now, serve my suspension, and I'll be back then for the first leg of the quarterfinals. Sergio Ramos was arrogant, and ultimately, he was wrong. Tonight, he watched in the stands as Real Madrid crumbled before his eyes. He could do nothing about it. He's suspended, and he's still going to be suspended for Real Madrid's first game of the Champions League campaign next season. And that, Sergio, is why you don't have that arrogance. You don't let that creep into your game. And Real Madrid tonight, they had no spirit, they had no desire, as soon as that first goal went in, they crumbled. They absolutely crumbled. You know their fans. They're not going to get behind him in that situation. They turned on them. Bale, of course, whistled onto the pitch when he came on. And certainly tonight, Real Madrid, in a competition that they have dominated, they were dominated. Ajax tonight 100% deserved it. And this year, we will have a new winner of the Champions League. We, of course, are hoping that it's Barcelona. But at the same time, I really do hope that this Ajax team can go a long way. They deserve this. They're a team that is historic. They're four times European champion. And tonight, with the players they have, they fully deserve the win. And certainly among the footballing world, we appreciate what you did. So please leave your full thoughts on the performance from Ajax tonight, guys, in the comments down below. Who impressed for you and what did you really like about that display? And in particular, what did you think of Frankie de Jong, new Barcelona player? I am so, so excited about that. And what do you think of Real Madrid? Where did it all go wrong? That looks like right now they're going to end trophyless. 
How good does that sound? Leave your thoughts down below, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for the Supercopa de Catalunya match between Barcelona and Girona. I'll see you then. But until next time, as always, Vesca El Barça. Yeah.